I have always been curious to know what the Prophet ﷺ did when he first saw the Kaaba. What was his reaction when he kissed the black stone? When he walked around the Kaaba, what was his emotions? When he came to the, the corner which faces Yemen, Rukun Yamani, and that walk towards Al Hajar Aswad, what was he praying? Always curious when he got done his tawaf, what did he do next? When he was praying behind Maqam Ibrahim, what was he reciting? When he got done, did he just walk away to Safa Marwa? Or did he farewell the Kaaba one more time? When he got to Safa Marwa, how did he pace his walk? What were his supplications? When he got done Safa Marwa and he went to Mina, what was he saying to the community that had gathered from different parts of the world? For many, it was their first time seeing the Prophet. And then he went to Arafah, the place where all sins are forgiven. One of the most sacred places in the world. One of the most symbolic speeches of the Prophet ﷺ given in Arafah. Hundreds of thousands of people are testifying that the Prophet has completed his message. What was the feeling of the Prophet ﷺ when he finished his journey of Arafah and he was coming back to see the Kaaba one more time? What were the Sahaba going through? just around these few days when the Prophet ﷺ is telling them, listen to me, it is very possible that I will not be around next year. And as he's farewelling the world, what are the sentiments, what are the emotions, what are the lessons the Prophet ﷺ teaches the world in his presence and generations to come later? That's what we're going to cover in these short Dhul Hijjah series Please follow us and join every single moment of the Prophet ﷺ with his companions in the last few months of his life during his only Hajj, which is Hajjatul Wada'.